Howard Solomon is possibly America's most prolific maker of odd and amusing things, and the most relentless jokester in the world. When you visit his castle in Ona, Florida, you'll realize that's not really an exaggeration. Howard Solomon. Good afternoon. And this is your castle. It's a kissel. A kissel? Yeah, it's a Jewish castle. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago did you build this darn thing? I started in 1972. It's a hobby that got out of hand. Yeah. How long did it take to finish? Well, I worked on the castle off and on for 14 years. It's kind of a spectacular looking place. What, what is it covered with? It's covered with the printing plates from the local newspaper. Are you an architect by training? No, I'm a high school dropout by training. Uh-huh. Howard, what's the square footage on this joint? There's 12,000 square feet. And who actually lives here? You, you My and- My wife and I live here. Why'd you choose to make a castle out of your house? Well, the palaces were too expensive to furnish. All this art on the walls, is that yours as well? It's all my work. Howard, you're a very productive guy. Busy hands, happy heart. So the castle is pretty much your museum of all your work, in a way. Yeah. This one looks like it's a 3D kind of a deal. This is a village in the Bahamas where I resided for seven years. Happy Rockefeller made out of brake shoes over here. There's a tortoise in the hand. Yeah, the, tortoise the tortoise and the hare. You're a punster, I can tell. You know what you call 50 puns? What's that? Punishment. I started out with a corn planter, and I rearranged the parts and added a few parts to it and named it Evil Corn Evil. It's a failure as a motorcycle. However, I'm going to build 30 of them and leap over them in a Winnebago. This is a carnival made out of phonograph turntables. This is Lionel. Line is made out of five oil drums and 70 pounds of welding rod. This is the tuna band playing Flight of the Bumblebee. How many works of art do you think you have in here? Over 300. This is a gangster gun made out of a bumper jack and half of a hacksaw. It's called a hacked off jack saw. And what's with the fork? I made that for the fast food restaurants. It fires a fork to get the waiter's attention. What about these guns? Jack Kevorkian's dueling pistols. Tell me this, are any of these for sale? Everything has a price. So somebody could take one of these things out of here for a, the, the right price? That's right. Or I'll make them a copy for a little bit less. Now when did you add the Spanish Galleon to your collection? I started building the ship in 1991, six weeks after my first heart surgery. I worked on it every day for four years. Howard, you're surrounded by swamp. We live in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Why just decide to build here? The land was cheap and so was I. <laughs> have you ever been to the Alamo? I've never been. Why? Well, now you have. Oh my God! You built, you rebuilt the Alamo. This houses my old work and my new work because the castle is already filled up. That's little boy blue. That's a lot of bull. When my wife and I die, we're going to be taxidermied into these two chairs so that we could stare at each other for all of eternity, or until somebody blinks. I heard a rumor, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you're trying to sell this place? It's been for sale for 43 years, and, and we've had two lookers, and one was almost serious. Howard, if somebody wants to pay a visit to Solomon's Castle, where do they go? Well, we're, we're 30 miles due east of Bradenton, Florida. Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome.